Hey, what's going on guys? So I've seen a lot of questions about how loopers and consumers work and wondering sort of how to use uh, Pro for your WooCommerce sites. Um, I have used Pro for years for WooCommerce specifically and loopers, consumers, and the new layout builder really open up a whole new world of uh, being able to create using Pro as really a framework tool more than just a theme. Uh, but more on that at, uh, at another date. Let's go ahead and dive into how uh, loopers and consumers work at a super, super high level. I just wanted to get this out there to, to help answer some of these questions. So you'll notice here, uh, we have a very quick and clean install. Don't uh, disregard uh, my admin backend here. That's a, a story for another day. Um, but we have a very quick install, a fresh install of WooCommerce, and I've just gone ahead and added a few sample products in here. Uh, to show how this works on the front end. Um, I have uh, no real pages built yet. Um, obviously WooCommerce created the cart page, the checkout, the My Account, and the Shop, which again, uh, perhaps we can talk about those at another date on how we can edit those and customize those. I've gone ahead and created a front page as well, which is this, this home page here. And uh, you will notice when I open up that front page, uh, it is just completely blank. So let's go ahead and uh, dive in um, on creating um, uh, a layout here, a, a looper and consumer. So let's go ahead and we'll edit our homepage. And again, as you can see, uh, it is blank for the most part here. I'll actually delete this so it's completely blank. So we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch. That creates our first section. And what I'm gonna do for this looper and consumer is just create a four column uh, row here. Now what I want to do is I want to inspect the row. So you'll notice I've kind of clicked right here so that I'm inside. I've inspected the row here. Uh, fancy terminology for just making sure that it's selected. So I don't want to select the section and I don't want to select the column. I want the row. Okay. So here we are on the row. I'm going to go to customize and this is my provider. So this is what is fetching the information that I'm then going to consume using my columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle my provider on and I can do things like a quick and down and dirty recent posts. I can go into the builder and pick really any post type, including custom post types. Uh, but in our situation here, uh, we want to create a uh, looper for WooCommerce products. So it's as simple as coming into our post types. So again, what we did there is we selected the builder. We went to posts and we're going to choose instead of post, instead of blog posts, we're going to choose products because that's what we want to pull through. And that is it. Now, it doesn't look like it did much, but you'll now notice that when I hover on my row, it is uh, red. And that's to signify that it is a looper uh, provider. So then I'm going to come in here to my first column. And um, I can actually just for the way this works, I can go ahead and get rid of these other columns. And we'll, we'll see how this works in a second here. Um, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select my first column. And I'm going to start, uh, well, I'm going to start by actually making this a provider. So let's select the column, select customize. And as you know, for the row, we made it a uh, provider. For the column, we're gonna make this a consumer. So we're gonna turn on a consumer. And um, you know, maybe for this, I just want uh, four uh, posts to come through. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Um, and we'll see kind of how this works in a second. Um, there's a lot of complexities to this if you wanted to really go deep, but this is meant to just be a super uh, high level tutorial on how this works. So I have now made my row a provider and I've made my column, which is now yellow, you'll see there, I've made my column a consumer. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do a quick build. So I can come in here and just grab something like uh, a headline and pop it in here. And I could use dynamic uh, text, uh, dynamic fields to fill in the text here. Um, but uh, Themeco has already pre-built a few dynamic fields as well. So I'm just gonna grab, this is basically the same kind of thing. Um, I'm just gonna grab this, the title, and you'll notice it's already pulling through my first four products. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and style this sort of my own way here. So we'll just do something quick and easy. We'll grab the heading, go to, maybe I want this to be bold. 
Um, you know, hey, maybe that looks good. Okay, so now the other thing we want to do is select our column and just add some separation here. So these are what I'm doing now, totally opinionated styles, but I just want you to kind of understand the power of what this can do. So you'll notice everything I'm doing in this one column is being reflected um, sort of in the loop here. So adding a little bit of padding, maybe we'll add a slight border here. Um, you know, something kind of light, maybe for kicks and giggles, we uh, add in a box shadow with only an interaction. So something like this. And then again, kicks and giggles, because it's a product and I want you to be able to click it to get on the product page. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say interaction, transform. Again, this has nothing to do with the looper and consumer, but I want you to see how this styling works. So now when you hover, it kind of moves up, right? Now that's being applied to all of these even though I can't interact with them right now. So let's continue building this out now. So we've got our dynamic title in here. Let's go ahead and pull through our, again, you could pull the image. Let's, I'm gonna show you how to do this. You could pull the image and it's just a normal image block. But then if I come in here and I select this little dynamic um, button, uh, I can then make this a featured image. So I could kind of do this myself and you see, boom, populated. Um, but again, Themeco has kind of already put a, a couple of these predetermined uh, dynamic fields in here. And so let's go featured image. So this one is just that selection is already done for you. So nice and easy there. Um, you know, maybe again, kicks and giggles. I'm going to add in a little bit of spacing here to make this look good. Um, you know, maybe uh, we want the product price to be just below that. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, add some separation in there, something like that. Um, and we could also come in here now and, you know, it doesn't have a dollar sign, so we could put a dollar sign in there. Um, and we can get more into to styling this in the, in the future, but it's basically just pulling this directly from the product page um, and how it's entered. So most of those look pretty decent. Um, again, you know, we could really get into the, the weeds on styling. There's some things we'd want to do maybe with Flexbox to get all of this to line up nicely to maybe keep things from breaking to two rows. Maybe I'll just for now, you know, do something like this just so they're close. Um, I also just snagged these images from Apple's website, so they're not all uh, equal height. There's also some ways around that as well, but um, let's just go with, with what we got here. We can also go ahead and grab a button. And now there's two, two cool things we can do here. So one, we could add a button. Oops, again, I'm gonna just add a little bit of spacing here, uh, maybe something like that. Um, so we could add a button, and that button could say, buy now, and we could, come in here to the button, oops, let's actually select the button, and pull up the dynamic URL and just make this the permalink. And the permalink is gonna be for whatever this column is. So this buy now button will take you to iPhone 12. This buy now button will take you to the 12 Pro. This will take you to the XR. So it's, it's a dynamic field. Uh, do make sure that you don't leave one of those guys in there, otherwise it won't work. The other thing you can do if we wanted this whole thing to be uh, clickable is select the column and instead of this column being a div, we're gonna make it an A tag, so a, a link. And then we'll come in here and do the same exact thing. So this is gonna be a permalink. And there we go. So now this is definitely not pretty, but let's go ahead and see what this looks like. We'll save it. We'll go ahead and view it on the front end. And here we are. So it's pulling through just fine. And mind you, I have not done anything on these product pages, but when I click this, there is our product page. And if I click this one, there is our product page. Um, so that is how uh, looper providers and consumers work. And then you'll kind of see here, and I mentioned this before, but um, here we go. So under customize, if I wanted you know, more, I could say, well, you know what, I want five actually. And you'll see iPhone 11 is down here. And this actually brings up a good point as well. So you'll notice uh, the iPhone 11, I actually don't have an image for. Maybe you have products that you're selling. Some do have images, some don't. Maybe you're not dealing with products, you're dealing with blog posts and sometimes your clients add an image and sometimes they don't. You can actually even add in uh, conditional elements to show up. So let's do one of those real quick here. Um, so we can actually uh, choose uh, really anything. Let's go ahead and do uh, a div and we'll go ahead and pop that div in here. 
Let's give the div a background. This is not a lesson in design, but let's just give it a little background here. And whoops. Uh, and let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on Flexbox, Center, and Vertical Center, okay? So now, let's go ahead and inside our div, pop an icon in there, okay? And this icon, we'll just make it an image, something like this, make it two, and make it white-ish, okay? There we go, and then maybe, this is probably not how you'd wanna set this up, but I'm just gonna give this a base height of, I don't know, 80? Yeah, 100, something like that, okay? Now, what I'll do is I'll come in here and say on this div um, that, let's go into customize. Uh, so my condition on the div is featured image is not set, okay? And now on this, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna create a condition which is featured image is set. Now, you'll notice it's already previewing just fine. When I come over here, if it doesn't have an image, boom, and I'd probably wanna add some margin there so it look nice, but boom, and if it does have an image, boom. Um, so that works out nicely, and just for the sake of how this layout works, I would probably, if I was doing this in the real world, take my column and bring this down to four so it just looks nice. Now this could be your home page, and you just have a nice little product feed in here. Um, you can also select, uh, when we're in the row here, you can also order by and choose how you want these to, to show. So right now they're ordered by the date that they, these were added. That probably is not how you wanna order your products. Um, so you could also do, let's say it's a home page and you just wanna feature some things. This could just be random. So you'll notice when we go here and load it up, it's 12 and then the MacBook and then this iPhone 11, let's refresh. Boom, it's 12, 11 XR, let's refresh. And it's doing all this on its own. So loopers and consumers are super powerful uh, tools that I'm literally, this video is just scratching the surface on. Um, it can be used for products like we're doing here just because that's what the specific question was that I'm addressing here, but it can be used on literally any post type, including your own custom post types, which I can definitely touch on in the future. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you do have other questions about how this works, um, definitely reach out and I'd be happy to help.